Hi, Hi Steve. Steve. Um, we we had a little problem with the Red Dog team. They well, they wouldn't give us the video. No, they wouldn't even give us the training, Steve. So we uh, we thought we'd do something else instead. Yeah, absolutely, no problem. Uh, we put together our own demonstration of precisely how Red Dog works. Imagine that my colleague here, Mark, is a server running a website. How are you doing, Mark? Not too bad. Johnny, good. Now. In the non-Red Dog environment, um, what do you think might happen if we had a huge sudden surge of traffic on the website? I've no idea, but I suspect I'm going to find out. I think you are. Let's just give a little bit more traffic. I think that's enough. Oh, no, let's keep going a bit longer. So what did we learn here today? Well, I think when your web server in today's world gets overloaded, that it falls over, right Mark? Right. And this is where Red Dog comes in. Now imagine us being able to automatically provision new servers. What's the busiest time, would you say, on the website, Mark? All right, during the advert breaks on Coronation Street on a Tuesday. Advert break in Coronation Street, absolutely. So in that huge peak period, Red Dog will dynamically provision new servers, get that new software up and running, deal with the load, just deal with the situation automatically and dynamically. And then as soon as the peak period has died away, well, of course Red Dog will just automatically unprovision all of those services, keeping the power and the cost down to exactly where you'd like it to be. So there it is, that's Red Dog. Mark, any final comment about Red Dog itself? Yeah, Red Dog. It's the dogs.